You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. self-expression. The most effective way to express ourselves is through words. But according to the Stuttering Foundation, close to 80 million people worldwide stutter today. This is Live Stutter Free with your host, Anna Dieter. After years of practicing conventional speech therapy, Anna Dieter has pioneered a new and effective approach to this debilitating habit. So now, please welcome the host of Live Stutter Free, Anna Dieter. Good part of the day, dear friends, and welcome to Live Starter Free with your host, Anna Dieter, on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am a founder and a passionate pioneer of a new profession called Etalon Speech Education, which is actually a I am a pioneer of restoring because everything new is a well-forgotten old, right? So I am a pioneer of restoring the old profession. In ancient times, they called it oratory art. So Life Starter Free's mission is to reveal various mysteries about so-called mysterious, unknown medical condition called stuttering, stammering, cluttering, or any other so-called speech fluency disorders. Once again, it is believed, commonly believed, that stuttering is some kind of a sickness, that a person who stutters speaks in a very strange way and behaves during his speech in a very awkward way only because something is wrong with his brain. Something is wrong physically, physiologically with his body. Or maybe, it's also believed and speculated about it, maybe he has a bad broken gene. And there are so many researches that have been done since the beginning of the century, because the whole stuttering cure profession has been around for a little bit more than 100 years. But we are here to change this situation because 80 million people worldwide are waiting and hoping for this problem, horrible problem, to be solved one day. I am Anna Dieter, and I am here just a messenger of a great news. It's great, but it's a shocking news for many. Stuttering is solved. The problem of stuttering, the mystery of stuttering, was solved 20 years ago. And it was solved in a place called Russia. It was kind of unexpectedly, and that's a problem, because as a society, we have been programmed to believe that there are certain people, certain researchers with certain training, they are the ones who are supposed to come up with a solution. And we were paying him, I'm talking about the society, <laughs> the whole world. We've been paying them, we've been just giving them a lot of money to do their invaluable researches. I don't want to tell that the researches were not good. No, they're great. But the problem is that most of these researchers 
have been people who stutter themselves. There have been people who have also been, as I call it, blocked, and they still are blocked. And this is why it is so difficult for them to understand what is it that this Anna Dieter, the lady from Russia, is talking about. This is why I've made this decision to go live and simply invite a few of my graduates, not my, the graduates of the Etalon three-day speech gymnastics course, three-day program. Each of them used to be a person who stuttered for life, lifelong stutterer. But when they joined the three-day Etalon, three-day Etalon speech gymnastics, for some mysterious, miraculous reason, they dropped their stuttering. They stopped making mistakes. Where did you see this kind of sickness when a person couldn't speak a word and in three days all of a sudden he or she begins speaking like everyone else, normally, no different. This looks like a miracle, but of course, I don't believe in miracles. Speech is a skill. And all we do, we learn it. It is impossible to cure the lack of skills. Impossible. So what I am bringing here today is another show, another communication with a former severe person person who stuttered severely. And this time this person lives in faraway country. I'm saying far away from United States, of course. But this person was very young. And when he was young, somehow, he doesn't remember how, but he also got unblocked. For some reason, once again, I know the reason, <laughs> and I'm going to disclose this reason today. But this reason was unknown to him, to his loving, extremely loving parents, extremely supportive, maybe even super over-supporting parents. And that became a problem that they over-supported him. We will talk about it. And you will learn how this gentleman, his name is Devin from Mauritius Island, how he became blocked and how he lost all his blocks in simple conversation over three days with myself and my mentor, one genius independent scientist who never got paid for his researches. No one ever paid him for that. He never worked for a big institute or big university, big research program or laboratory. That was the cause, the reason that he was able to actually solve the problem of stuttering. He has explained each and every person who stutters behaves in a strange way, in a different way from the way normal people behaves because of one simple reason. Are you ready? The reason for stuttering is only one. It's called so-called block stupor. And if you want to learn more details about what it is, because I'm not into theory today, I recommend you can go to the previous shows, listen carefully, and learn what it is. So the bottom line is that you don't need to miss the rest of the show. The information you will receive is going to blow your mind. Stay tuned. You will meet Devin from Mauritius Island. Talk to you in a bit. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate 
to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion. And then together, we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. And we are back. I cannot wait to continue the um, show. Whoops. Are you there? Hello? Oh, Devin disappeared. So what are we going to do now? Okay. So I'm going to continue talking. Is he going to be able to call back? Or how is it? Okay. So, very good. Very good. So we just had a little technical problem, but we are back because... Devin is calling to us from Mauritius Island, and it is past one o'clock in the morning. And yes. believe it or not, he is staying up just because I said, Devin, can you show two people that you are not an actor that I hired? So I've heard this a lot because it does look like a miracle. And I totally understand when people are skeptical about my the results of my work so let's go directly to meet an amazing person so i am anna dita and this is live starter free on bbm global network and tune in radio please meet a former severe stutterer his name is devin and an amazing bright person Devin from Mauritius Island. Devin, are you there? Uh, hello, Anna. Yes, I'm, I'm here. Good. Okay. So, Devin, why don't you just introduce yourself? What are you up to today? What's going on in your life? So, I'm Devin. I live in Mauritius and I was a former stutterer. Today, I work in a bank. I talk a lot because I have to deal with my, my clients, my colleagues and everyone. And I have to ensure that I deliver the service that is given by the bank. And I make sure that I talk a lot as well. And it has been a great change in my life. When I did the three-day course, after that, I started to talk properly and was able to do a lot of things that I had never dreamt of. Okay, this is all cool. And this is all actually was even in the video right after three-day course that people can watch on YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel. If you go to the website, you can see a lot of 
video examples of my work, of the result of my work, and of course, of a hard work of each and every student that I work with. But here is Devin, and the purpose of this show is to show how blocks happen in the life of people who stutter. How do they develop blocks, and who are the blockers? So this is why, Devin, I want to go back to your childhood. Could you please give a little bit information about how did your childhood childhood go? So what kind of family you were grown up in? Who were your childhood, parents? Childhood. Normally, my childhood was very painful. It's like a memory that I, I want to forget because I didn't speak till I was three years old. And I went to school after that, to pre-primary school. I think that there they taught me how to speak and to write as well. And they did it not in the proper way. Okay, David, David, I'm going to interrupt you. You know what? We forgot to kind of explain. Can you tell how many languages you speak and what number of the language is English language for you. <laughs> we didn't talk about it. Normally I speak three languages, but English is my third language. It's the language that I use the least often. Right. So you basically... I, I'm not so... I do not have all the words. And right. I, yes. But so I just want to emphasize, so David spoke languages French, and what's the other language? French and Creole. In Mauritius, we have a language called Creole. Right. So two languages he spoke. He was growing up in the family with at least three languages, right? Two languages. And then yes. he learned English language. So that was language number three. What you hear him searching for words, of course, it's normal. But at the same time, can you share with us what just happened recently in your life, what you told me before we met, before the show? What did you just do? What examination you just took? I took the IELTS examination, the International English Examination, and I have passed the speaking test very well. And it was just a great experience for me. And I, I never expected me to talk so well in the speaking test. And I did it. I did it with the help of Etalon. I just spoke in a standard way and I was able to pause the exam. Right, because Etalon stands for standard for the norms, for perfection. Yeah, we make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But when you know how to use this body-mind machine, this is another piece of information I want to bring here to our listeners. What we have, our body and mind, just a device that when we are born, we all have these devices at birth, right? Mother Nature equips these devices with everything we need. But after we are born, we learn to use these body-mind machines, some better, some not as good. So some people learn to use it correctly, some not correctly. It goes in a different ways. And people who stutter simply become blocked for some reasons. And as David mentioned, he was born in a very loving and a very protective family. And a little bit of information, he said he started speaking only when he was three years old. Right, David? Yes, I studied English. I started to talk, actually, only after three years old. Right. So for three years, he was just there. He didn't have to develop any speaking skills because he probably doesn't remember. Do you remember if your mom no. or I was so small. <laughs> of course. You don't remember, but knowing his mother, and actually I do remember I spoke with Devin's mom. She's an amazing lady, very loving person. And 
she was kind of very protective of David. And, yeah, and I'm kind of suspecting she wasn't talking too much to her child. So this is the way David was kind of blocked by what? By not being by not having to develop his speech. So we're going to go to the commercial break right now. But after that, Devin will continue the section of blocks and blockers. Stay tuned. You're going to learn a lot. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page -page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. And we are back. Live Starter Free on, with your host, Anna Dira, on the BBM Global Network. And Tune In Radio is back. So today we're having an amazing guest. You are listening to Devin from Mauritius Island, a man, a young man who used to stutter severely because he was blocked. And we're going to continue our conversation about Devin's blocks and Devin's blockers. So, Devin, could you please continue your story about your childhood? So, at three years old, you went to school. What happened in school? In school, I was taught to speak and write, but I was not as if motivated or uh, to talk. I, I had not so much opportunity to talk because my teachers were as if protecting me. They didn't want me to feel low and to not feel like everyone. Right. So it so, continued. Yes. All right. So I'm going to interrupt you for a second, not for a second, for a minute maybe. So once again, blocks and blockers. So you see that the very first blocker was the person who loved him the most. Unfortunately, this is reality. I'm not saying it to hurt anyone, to blame anyone, no. I just want to emphasize we need speech education to become a school subject. We need to educate the whole society how children need to encourage their child to speak, how, what they're supposed to do to create a nurturing environment, stimulating a child to develop his speaking. Because the, his first blocker was his mother, who was giving everything to Devin without him having to ask for that. And number two, when he went to school, can you imagine a, per, a little child, he doesn't know how to speak yet, but he is in the school and they begin teaching him to write. 
it causes immediately confusion in the mind of a child, in the memory of a child. He doesn't understand what letters are, what sounds are, why this is a letter. It, let's say, when we call the letter, it's J, but when we say it's Y, for example. Why? I don't understand why. So, and I remember, Devin, even when I was working with you, you kept complaining that you were seeing letters in your head, right? Did you? Devin, are you there? Oops, um, looks like we lost Devin again. Okay, while he is gone, because he is calling from Mauritius Island, okay, he is back. Devin, are you there? Yes, there was a okay. technical issue. I know, I know. That's perfect. We are here to continue. So, Devin, I asked a question that do you remember when we were working together? By the way, when did you graduate? I don't even remember. When? What year was it? I think it's two or three years uh, ago. I think it's okay. 2015. 15? Okay. So I remember when we were working together, your block was that instead of getting the correct information that you would need at this present moment, you were getting written information. Right? You were getting kind of recalling the way the words are written in language. Was that your blog? Yes, that was my blog. Because right, I remember that. Right. Yes. So, can you continue? So, teachers were the next set of blockers. They said, okay, poor guy, he's not speaking, he's a stutterer, right? Let him stay in peace, right? Yes. <laughs> So, did they encourage you to speak? I was not being given the opportunity to speak because I usually couldn't do it. So, they chose the other students to speak instead of me and I was kept as if behind and that's why I couldn't develop my speech. That's exactly I felt fear to speak. The well, let's let's talk about your fears. It's a very interesting point because, of course, people become fearful when they attempt, as I explained, blocks as handcuffs. When my handcuffs, all of a sudden, someone's handcuffs are, I mean, someone's hands are in handcuffs, and they attempt to move them, it's kind of fearful. How am I going to move it? I'm afraid to move now. <laughs> I yes. can't move freely my hands. So, what is your very first memory of you being fearful? Can you recall it? Yes, uh, the first memory is when the, my teacher was asking me questions and he was asking every one of us and I was thinking about when it will be my turn what will I do? How will I be able to speak? And this fear, I just can't forget about them. And they had been haunting me for long before I got to know about Etalon. But when I learned about Etalon, I realized that this fear do not matter. What matters most is for me to speak the time when the teacher asked me the question. It's the same thing that I am doing right now. It's to speak. To speak That's it. What is and, in my right. mind. That's it. And the most important part is when we speak, we are getting information from somewhere. Because speech is the process, the action of transferring information. It is not something that happens kind of without our participation at all, but it's kind of pretty, pretty automatic process. What I mean by automatic, of course, not that you select information automatically. When there is a process of selection, it's always a conscious process. But the action of speaking occurs automatically. It is when you ask any normally speaking person, how do you speak? A person will always answer, Psh, I don't know, I just speak, right? 
This is exactly the correct answer. I don't know what I do. I just... Yeah, and this is called normal, natural, physiologic, physiological speech. So, cool. I like your story, but I want to continue. I want to hear about the set of the next blockers. So first your parents, your family, then your teachers. Let's talk about who was next. I want to learn about it. So don't go anywhere, okay? Talk to you in a bit. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope, there is help, there is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing, and it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed, hopeful, happy. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. And Live Starter Free is going on. Live Starter Free with your host, Anna Dieter, on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Today we're talking about stuttering cure business, but most important, about Etalon speech education, about why people develop stuttering. What is the reason of abnormal behavior of those who stutter? Abnormal behavior that we all witness. Why is it so? And a person who tells his story today knows from his kind of hands-on experience because he used to be a severe stutterer. Before he joined the three-day at a long speech gymnastic course and dropped his stuttering, in three days. So, Devin from Mauritius Island, he's telling us his story. So, we now, at the moment when Devin is in school, and he is not talking much because teachers don't require him to speak much. But then he went to a higher school, middle school or high school. So, how did you do there? So I continued my studies and I went to high school and university, but there I could not escape not to talk. And mm -hmm. I had to do presentations and to talk with my, my friends and my teachers, but I couldn't do it and I had very bad results. I remember I did fail one year all one okay. year was gone just because I was not able to pass the exam. There were presentations and I had to talk and I couldn't do it. And that was very painful for me and very as if uh, blocking me for my career to continue to pursue on. And then I, I had uh, work. I started to work and I 
I collected the, the money that was required for me David, to... Can I interrupt you for a second? What kind of work did you find? Because I hear a lot of complaints from those who stutter. They say, I want to take your course. I want to drop my stuttering, but I cannot get a job because I'm a stutterer. No one wants to hire me. So what kind of work did you have? Normally, I, I had a work as a system administrator in mm -hmm. a company who does system administration for other other companies and I had the opportunity to get it but I had an interview where I stammered a lot but the interviewers did not take into consideration my stammering but I started to work and I collected the money and after that I knew that I had to do something for my stammer and then I contacted you and we did the three day course. And after that, uh, I. See, you are going, and then that's it. And that's it. <laughs> I want the details. I want to hear the story of your emotions. I want to hear how you felt when you were not able to even continue with your study. You failed at oral examinations, presentations. How did you feel about it? I feel like I felt like I was not like a normal person. I was handicapped. And that's the worst feeling I think that I could have at that moment. Because I knew I was able to do it when I was at home, when I was all alone. I was able to speak. I could even sing. I could do anything that I could speak in any way that I want. I could imitate anyone, but when I was in school or among people, I was not able to do so. That's when I started thinking, how could I get rid of it? I even took a speech therapy course. And yes! I that's what I want you to talk about. Wait, that's important because we are going to the next set of blockers. I am sorry to say because I used to be a speech therapist myself for 30 years of my life. I know this profession from inside. I worked as a speech professional, as a conventional speech therapist for my entire life, for 30 plus years. I know what it is. This is why I'm so passionate about the Etalon speech education. Why speech therapists are amazing people? Because we are all big hearted. We genuinely want to help people to kind of ease their troubles, their struggles. But the problem is in the training. We all have been trained to believe that stuttering is something physiologically wrong. Stuttering is some neurological problem. And I forgot to mention that. Stutterers do act differently. Even the brain scan shows that the activity of their brain is different when they speak from the normally speaking people. Why? Not because there is something physiologically wrong with them, but only because they are using their brain, their body-mind machine, incorrectly. It's very simple. Our body is a mirror of our mind. If our mind is filled with inadequate information, it means inadequate programming. It's programmed to send incorrect orders to the body. Guess what our body is going to reflect? Guess what our body will do? It will resonate the same incorrect, inadequate program. So, but back to Devin. So he went to speech therapists who didn't have the training how to unblock a stutterer. He tried hard. I'm sure they tried, right? Your speech therapist wasn't a bad person, right? Yes, my speech my, my speech pathologist was a very good person, yes. but she tried her best, I know, but she tried to make me 
stammer, but in the in a proper way for people to understand what I was trying to say. But yeah, I you know. Didn't no, you know what, Kevin? I want this in details because we are again coming to the commercial break. They keep interrupting us. But we're going to begin right from that. It's very important. I want to hear what your speech therapist asked you to do to help you to stop stuttering. <laughs> okay? okay? And we're going to be back in a few, in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss that. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Wait No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Wait No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Wait No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Wait No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact a symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. And we are back, Live Starter Free with your host, Ann Adira, on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we just started the part of the interview where Devin from Mauritius Island, a severe form, a severe stutter, was going through. He was telling about his next set of blockers. The blocker was an amazing, a very nice, very kind speech therapist who meant very well to help Devin to ease his struggles with speech so Devin could stop stuttering, could stop making mistakes. What did she ask you to do, Devin, to stop making mistakes in speech? She asked me to do a lot of exercises. She told me to prolong my speech when I'm speaking, as if to, to, to speak in a way where the word is longer. And I started to do those things, but I was not speaking normally like everyone. It was very awkward to speak like this. Because this is, I want to emphasize, and you also mentioned before, uh, earlier during the break that, oh, maybe before the break, that she asked you to stutter on purpose. Did she? Yes, yes she so, also told me to stammer on purpose in order for me to not think about it. <laughs> so it's basically, this is the logic. You're not going to stammer if you stammer on purpose. How do you like that? You're not going to make mistakes in speaking if you make them on purpose. This is just insane, okay? So this is something that she, uh, she was trained. She did her best. I don't blame her for anything because she had this kind of training. And by doing that, 
she actually blocked Devin even more. He, again, kind of the belief that he was abnormal. He had some kind of a sickness and he needed a cure for this sickness, some awkward method of abnormal, obviously, abnormal speaking, some kind of methods, techniques, or something like that. He needed that. So he tried to use this abnormal way of speaking, which is a form of stuttering. And of course, he felt that it was awkward. So what happened after you tried it, David? Of the bad, I felt very uh, awkward and I do I did it for some time, but afterward I said no, I cannot do this because this is not helping me. And I remember it was causing me more harm because when I was trying those methods, for example, in the bus, I stammered more and I was more fearful of situations. It made me more scared of those situations where I had to talk. Then I... Exactly. Yes. Because she did not remove your block. That's where your block was. You were scared of the situation. Why? Because you were blocked. And as I said earlier, these blocks are invisible to people who stutter. And these blocks are invisible to ordinary people who do not have the Etalon speech training. These people don't understand why you are free. I mean, why are you fearful? Just go and speak. Speak more. But you got to understand if you have handcuffs, if you begin training your body more, just no matter how much you will be training your body to play, let's say basketball, Will you ever be able to play unrestricted like everyone else when your hands are cuffed or chained up? Will you? Of course not. So you were blocked and she was giving you some kind of training. And this is why no matter what training, what time of treatment or cure, people who stutter just get from anyone. It's all useless. Useless. It, of course, sometimes it works for many, many years of practice of something. By accident, people who stutter may kind of figure it out, how to do it without any methods, may. But it's very rare. And it takes years, years of trying to figure out how normal people speak. So what happened next? You dropped the speech therapist, did you go to anyone else to try something else before the etalon? I did a lot of research on Google. I did some yoga exercises, I remember. I also did some things for my, to, as if to make my voice more clear and everything, but it was not working. And then I... <laughs> came to your video on YouTube and then I I knew that this could change my life, this could be the solution and then I started to work and I, I, I collected the money yes. and then I did the course. So let's talk a little bit about the course because we're kind of running of time already. I just love to hear more about your life. But once again, what is it that you do today? Do you do the same job that you were doing before the Etalon course or you got another job? No, I got another, an, an, another job and this one is better than the previous job. But uh, I think it, it, it is also more... Uh -oh. We're having technical problems? Yes. Okay, David. Yes. Okay, back. Mm -hmm. and so basically, at, at this job, they pay better, right? Yes, Do they? they pay better here. And, yes. and you got to speak more, right? Yes. I okay. have to speak more here and also I am the only one who do the 
administration administration work so mm -hmm. i have to communicate a lot right of course administrator you have to communicate a lot okay Okay, so we are coming to the next commercial break, to the last commercial break. So you got to stay with us for a little bit longer in the last segment. I will simply give you the information. Where can you go and where can you learn about this miraculous? It's actually, there is no miracle in the world. I don't believe in miracles. Where can you find information about this simple but revolutionary, shocking, solution for any type of stuttering. Talk to you in a bit. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards. She is a Spirit Book of the Year Gold Medal Living Now Book Award winner. And her book is a number one Amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the Living Now Spirit Book of the Year. An inspirational speaker, MJ will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life. Your life did not just happen to you. You chose it, which means you can change it. Visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. And here it is, the last segment of Live Starter Free with your host, Anna Dita on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And you are listening to an amazing story of Devin, a former severe stutterer from Mauritius Island. So, Devin, what happened after you got unblocked? After we removed your handcuffs and you became free to move your speech apparatus, what happened? <laughs> uh, I still remember, but I did it for three days. The first day I was completely blocked. You can see it in the video. I was yeah. totally blocked. And then after just one day, I started to talk freely. And it was just an amazing experience. I also recall that the next day I went to the shop and I bought uh, Coca-Cola and some cakes. And it was just great to talk to the shopkeeper. And that was a thing that I had not done for years, I think. I, I didn't, I was not used to talk to people, but I was talking to this man, this unknown man, and uh -huh. it's just a great experience. And, and what did I, he tell you? What did he tell you? <laughs> he said, why are you not drinking your Coca-Cola? Remember, yeah. it's in the video, right? Yes. Yeah. You I forgot was, about it. For me, for me, I had as if discovered something that I never expected, but... I would be able to, to find. And yeah. when I did find it, I was relieved in a certain way, but now I can do something. Now I can talk and can make my dreams uh, a reality. 
Of course. So we are coming to the end already. Thank you so much, David, for joining me tonight because it is close to two o'clock in the morning in Mauritius yes. Island. I can't believe you're still able to stay up so late. Thank you so much. And let me give you, okay, perfect. We have a couple of minutes. Here is the information. LiveStarterFree.com is the website where you can go and check out yourself. A lot of information. My website is just full with information. I recommend you download my free ebooks. They are called A Tale of Two Geniuses in Stuttering. And another one is One Lonely Climb to Success. They are free. You don't have to spend a penny. For a very small contribution in a nonprofit organization called Speech Academy at Alone International, you can uh, purchase kind of you contribute 50 bucks and we're going to send you the book, the PDF version of the book, Speech is a Skill or Live Starter Free. You can also call anytime or text me on my phone is 323-896-1214. And I am getting messages every day. Some people are angry at me. Some people cannot believe. Some people are in the state of so-called cognitive dissonance. It cannot be true because it is not true in my mind because I learned to believe a lot of untruths. And the last thing I want to say, I want to do the citation from my favorite book. It's called The Voice of Knowledge by Don Miguel Ruiz. We all know we're all born in truth, but we grow up believing in lies. One of the biggest lies in the story of humanity is the life of our imperfection. People who stutter, you are perfect. You are healthy. And talk to you next time, next show, where you will meet another former graduate, starter free graduate. You've been listening to Live Stutter Free with your host, Anna Dieter. Listen each week and learn how to become unblocked, liberated, and live stutter free with host, Anna Dieter. been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.